Shabbat Shalom. Let me read a, a psalm to you. I'm not going to expound on it, which is a little different for me, but we got a lot to do, so I'm just going to read this psalm. I love that Adonai heard my voice when I prayed. Anybody still believe in prayer? Because he turns his ear to me, I will call on him as long as I live. The cords of death were all around me. Sheol, that's not um, hell in the Old Testament, that's the place of the dead. Sheol's constrictions held me fast. I was finding only distress and anguish. But, say but, I called on the name of Adonai. Please, Adonai, Hoshiana, save me. Hoshiana, you know that? Save me. Hoshiana in Hebrew. Adonai is merciful and righteous. Anybody agree? Okay. You can participate. No, no, no violation. Adonai is merciful and righteous. Agreed? And, and David says, yes, just in case you didn't agree. Yes, our God is compassionate. Yes? Yes. yes. Adonai preserves the thoughtless. Yes? yes? A lot of times when we make mistakes, we're just not thinking. Right? He takes up a lot of our slack, let me tell you. When I was brought low, he saved me. Amen? My soul returned to your rest, meaning peace. Anybody need a little peace? For Adonai has been generous toward you. Yes, you have rescued me from death, my eyes from tears and my feet from falling. I will go on walking in the presence of Adonai in the lands of the living. This is a neat couple of verses, man. This is, I'm sure you can relate to it. I surely can. I will keep on trusting even when I say I am utterly miserable. You know what that means? Miserable? Doesn't mean the English miserable. It means when you're utterly crushed. When you're utterly crushed and there's, there's no way out, still you'll keep believing. Right? Right? I tell you this all the time, it's really easy praising God when things are going well. It's really easy saying God is good when things are going well. The true test of a mature believer is when nothing's going well and still praise is on your lips without a struggle. And then it says, even when in my panic I declare everything human is deceptive. You know what that means? When you've, when you've come to the conclusion that no one can be trusted. No one can be trusted, kid. I know you think they can, but they can't. Because in your humanness, you're going to fail. And that means you can't be totally trusted. But even when we are faithless, he is. That's the point. <laughs> God allows you to be, come in contact with people who are going to let you down so you can draw closer to him. What we tend to forget is when people let us down, we focus on they're letting us down, but we never seem to focus on all the times we let others down. Right? Most people that talk to me and they say they've been hurt by this one or that one, I always say, have you ever hurt anybody? Or is your record totally clean? Anyway, those are powerful, powerful verses. I will keep on trusting even when I say I am utterly miserable, I'm crushed, even when in my panic I declare everything human is deceptive. How can I repay Adonai for all his generous dealings with me? I will raise the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. That means maintain a heart of thanksgiving and devotion regarding the greatness of your salvation. Okay? I mean, that's the, listen, you want signs and wonders? The greatest sign and wonder there ever was or there ever will be is the fact that you got a new heart. That, there's no greater, don't you understand? That's the greatest miracle. You can't explain it. You don't know how he does it. 
But he did it, right? I will raise the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to Adonai in the presence of all his people. From Adonai's point of view, the death of those faithful to him is costly. Oh, Adonai, I am your slave. Would that be nice if, if the Christian community realized that they were God's slave? That's not phenomenal, by the way. That's nominal. That's, that's base. That's baseline. You know what I'm saying? That's no big deal. That's standard operating procedure in the kingdom. The son of your slave girl. My mother was your slave. You have removed my fetters. I will offer a sacrifice of thanks to you, and I will call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to Adonai in the presence of all his people, in the courtyards of Adonai's house, there in your very heart, this is speaking prophetically now, Jerusalem. When he comes back, that's where I'm going to be. <laughs> So to that we say hallelujah. Father, thank you so much for your Shabbat. Thank you so much that in your infinite mercy and wisdom and love, you set aside one day that you would give us your absolute, positive, undivided attention. That you'd make us feel like an only child. And Father, I hope and pray that as you give us your undivided attention and as you're distracted by nothing, but your focus is on your little children, I hope your little children will put their focus on you as well. I hope as you enjoy our presence, we enjoy yours. Father, we're not looking for anything. No, just want to hang out with you. People get weird around a king. That's why kings get weird around people. But today, we're not going to be weird around you. Nope, we're just going to enjoy your presence as you enjoy ours. Thank you for loving us more than we know. Thank you for your mercy and your grace. Thank you for your incredible compassion. And thank you that not only do we call you Almighty God, but we call you Abba Father. It's truly amazing. Can't wait to see you face to face. We love you and bless you. B'Shem Yeshua Meshachinu. Amen and amen.